Shemuel Rishon 1 Samuel 6. And the Ark of Yahuwah was in the country of the Pelashitim seven months. And the Pelashitim called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the Ark of Yahuwah? Tell us wherewith we shall send it to his place. And they said, If ye send away eth the ark of the Elohim of Yasharael, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering. Then ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then said they, What shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, five golden tumors and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Pelishatim. For one plague was on you all and on your lords. Wherefore, ye shall make images of your tumors and images of your mice that mar eth the land, and ye shall give glory unto the Elohim of Yashara'el. Perchance he will lighten at his hand from off you, and from off your Elohim, and from off your land. Wherefore then do ye harden at your hearts, as the Mitzrayim, rather Mitzrim and Pharaoh, hardened at their hearts, when he had wrought wonderfully among them, did they not let the people go, and they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and take two milch kine, on which there has come no yoke, and tie eth the kine to the cart, and bring their calves home from them. And take eth the ark of Yahuwah, and lay it upon the cart, and put eth the jewels of gold, which ye return him for a trespass offering in a coffer by the side thereof, and send it away, that it may go. And see, if it goes up by the way of his own coast to Beit Shemesh, then he has done us at this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that smote us. It was a chance that happened to us. And the men did so, and took two milch kine, and tied them to the cart, and shut up at their calves at home. And they laid at the ark of Yahuwah upon the cart, and at the coffer with at the mice of gold, and at the images of their tumors. And the kine took the straight way to the way of Beit Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And the lords of the Pelashitim went after them unto the border of Beit Shemesh. And they of Beit Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvests in the valley, and they lifted up at their eyes, and saw at the ark, and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Yahusha, a Beit Hash Shemi, rather Shimshi, and stood there, where there was a great stone. And they clave at the wood of the cart, and offered at the kine a burnt offering unto Yahuwah. And the Leviim took down at the ark of Yahuwah, and at the coffer that was with it, wherein the jewels of gold were, and put them on the great stone. And the men of Beit Shemesh offered burnt offerings and sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto Yahuwah. And 
When the five lords of the Peleshitim had seen it, they returned to Ephran, rather Ehran, the same day. And these are the golden tumors which the Peleshitim returned for a trespass offering unto Yahuwah, for Ashtad, one, for Gaza, one, for Ashkelon, one, for Gath, one, for Ikran, one, and the golden mice, according to the number of all the cities of the Peleshitim, belonging to the five lords, both of fenced cities and of country villages, even unto the great stone of Evel, whereon they set down at the ark of Yahuwah. Which stone remains unto this day in the field of Yahusha, the Beit Hash Shimshi? And he smote the men of Beit Shemesh, because they had looked into the ark of Yahuwah. Even he smote of the people fifty thousand and threescore and ten men. And the people lamented, because Yahuwah had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beit Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Yahuwah Elohim? And to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kiryat Yi Arim, saying, The Peleshitim have brought again at the Ark of Yahuwah. Come ye down and fetch it up to you.